Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil. Now, when we last left off, we had fought Nemesis for the first time, which was pretty intense, uh, as it generally is. So, uh, we're going to keep going anyway. This is the terminal control. This terminal controls the security system. I could operate it if I had a stars card. Is that right, Jill? Is that right? Let's have a little check here. A card of some kind is inside the case. Stars card. Alright. That was useful. Let's use the stars card and get this party moving along. Uh, right, so due to the emergency, the key to the stars office has been moved to the evidence room. Today's password for the safe is... It's 43, uh, 12. 4312. Okay, cool. Now, uh, I can't actually remember where we actually get our first item box. It's definitely, uh, my memory is incredibly, ah, oh, damn it, incredibly fuzzy with this game. But that's okay. Uh, let's start exploring anyway and see if we can find ourselves a save room. Uh, now, uh, comment about finding Jill's diary. Uh, actually, I'd forgotten about Jill's diary, if you want me to be honest. Uh, getting Jill's diary involves us finding all of the... Oh, God, that's so good. All of the memos in the correct order which is kind of a challenge I mean I, I guess I can't really remember the order that is involved in getting them all but I think right so there's Marvin Branner he's been fatally wounded by zombies he appears to be holding something so this is what the fourth or the fifth diary Marvin's report uh, report. Twi I have a guide up uh, on, on my other monitor for the correct order to pick up all the reports. We're going to aim for it. I'm not going to promise it, but we're going to aim for it. Uh, September 24th, there are reports of a theft in the municipal building before dawn. A jewel decorated clock at the main gate was damaged. Two of the 12 gems that are installed on the face of the clock are missing. Due to the lack of available officers at this time, I have no choice but to suspend the research of this case. Signed, Marvin. September 26th. Based upon an autopsy report of the 42-year-old restaurant owner, I have discovered that he has one of the missing gems. Apparently, he took shelter in the police department at about 10am, where he was shot to death within 10 minutes of having developed the symptoms. Since the city is currently under martial law, we are forced to suspend this case at this time. We'll keep the gem as evidence. Right, so we're going to need to find ourselves that gem. Uh, now, do you have any other ammo or anything for us? You don't. It's not very nice, is it? You know what? We'll take the bite. That's fine. Uh, the bite has already injured us pretty badly. That's not fantastic. Kind of uh, thinking we should have picked up those herbs. But what we'll do... We will... There's the gem. We'll see if we can find ourselves an item box. Before we worry about that stuff. Okay. Anything in here? Yeah, there should be stuff in here. Surely it's locked with a number-based lock. Uh, was this... Hang on. Right, okay, so that's the door that was locked for the key. Damn, son. We're out of spaces. Already. Oof. Okay. It is what it is. Ah, actually, we can go to the dark room down here. And then we're probably going to go back and gather up all of those herbs. Because we like our herbs. Hey, love. Oh, to you too. Get the fuck out of here. Ooh. Ah, there's a lot of you guys out here, isn't there? Jeez Louise, Big Papa Cheese. Yeah, we're going to keep the shotgun for anti-zombie activities. Okay, so. Let's... We don't need that for a good long while. Let's drop you back. 
Stars card. We need that. Oh, we definitely don't need that for a while. Well, actually, potentially, we could probably use that pretty soon, thinking about it. We'll keep... Uh, as we're just going to go back and grab those herbs, we'll keep the shotgun on us. Because... Ah, that seems to be uh, a good idea. Right, we're going to take the ink ribbon. Uh, I believe somewhere in here... Was there not bullets? I could have sworn there was bullets in here. No, it doesn't look like it. Alright. Um, there's a file in here. Oh, gunpowder. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, we'll take the gunpowder. Sure. Uh, and we should go put that gunpowder back in the box. We've actually got not a lot of gunpowder, but we've, yeah, okay. We've got a bit, and why am I carrying ink ribbons around? We're not going to use ink ribbons. kind of wouldn't mind to use ink ribbons. Oh, hang on, there it is. That's what we were looking for. So a memo there. David's memo. My sanity is at its end. I still can't believe this is happening. We lost another man yesterday. Uh, Maya. One of our better marksmen. He saw me panic once we were overrun by the zombies. But he came back to save me. But when the time came to return the debt, I ran. I can still hear him calling out my name. I can still hear the screams coming from behind. The sound of his flesh being stripped from his its bones. I was afraid. Terrified. It's the 27th. The fight to stay alive continues. I took out several zombies who managed to break through the barricades. Now I'm cutting through the chill with whiskey. <laughs> Unloading my Mossberg on anything undead. That shotgun's become a close friend of mine. I've blasted many a zombie into fertilizer with it. We've lost 13 men as of yesterday. In three hours, we'll bicker over the trivial things in the meeting room. It's a total waste of time. When I finish this bottle, my old friend Mossberg will be turning one Mossberg, I should say, will be turning one last body into fertilizer. Peace at last. I can hardly wait. Yeah. Yeah, things got pretty desperate. Nothing suspicious. You know, I miss that kind of like dread and panic that you don't really, you didn't really get in some of the later Resident Evil games. You know, that was just fantastic stuff. Okay, any more bodies out here to turn into fertilizer? Let's have a little look, shall we? Yeah, let's get rid of at least one of you guys just to make it a little bit easier. Sneak by. We can go down that hallway. Uh, I think. Not yet, but we can. Um, right, okay. Let's go back down. We, yeah, kind of need those herbs. To be honest. As I said, my memory of this particular one, Resident Evil 3, is very, very, um, ha. <laughs> rubbish. Hey, you're all in Marvin's office. That's wonderful. Uh, I don't know if there's like any ammo in this room. Maybe we should explore it a little bit better. Maybe. Let's go grab those herbs. Definitely going to need the herbs before the day's out, that's for sure. Of course, these uh, rooms are all barricaded. I'm guessing that Jill... Uh, Jill? I'm guessing that uh, Claire and Leon have already come through here. Because obviously these doors weren't barricaded with those two. So, not really sure. The timeline for this game, for me, is a little bit fuzzy. Pretty sure they have just uh, sipped on by. Yeah, because this is now technically the day after, I believe. This is the day after uh, Claire and Leon had their adventure. And again, there's something magical about the music in this place. It's, it's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful stuff. Uh, right, so we've got some brain munchers coming our way. 
They're all bunched up, which is great. I can't see anything to pick up. Now, sometimes there are little hidden items dotted around, but... I think we're okay. I think we're going to go upstairs now. Pretty sure. Uh, yeah, because we've got the key, so I guess we can go upstairs. Now, Nemi's going to bust through. At some point in the not too distant future... Ooh, he's got a fucking wiggle on, hasn't he? Uh, yeah, he oh shit. Kind of need to go to the item room. Yeah, Nebby's going to bust on through soon, and unfortunately, he's going to have a new toy. He's going to have his rocket launcher. Now, he only actually fires three shots with his rocket launcher before he throws it away from memory. Uh, which is fine. But you kind of have to duck out of the way of those three shots, which I don't think is that hard. I actually wanted to practice this game a little bit more than, um, before playing it outright, but... Uh, sadly, I just haven't had the time. In fact, I haven't, really <laughs> haven't even had the time to upload them. Uh, you may have noticed. Um, okay, this is another video that's uh, coming in hot, shall we say. Uh, we will take those. So you need about 50 odd, 50, 60 bullets to down Nemesis when you fight him. Uh, yeah, that's a lot. Actually, whilst we're here, let's drop a save because technically we are in a in a um, save room. So it's not really cheating now, is it? Okay, so let's go and have a little look upstairs. Hey, friend. Oh, no. Walk right into that guy. Son of a bitch. Uh, never mind. We're going to take a couple of bites here and there, but it'd be nice not to get nipped up. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the Chunko. Chunky zombies. Still don't think we can go through that door yet. Oh, okay. Oh, come on. That's not what I wanted. I actually wanted to shoot that guy. Son of a... We're actually injured now. Is there anything behind here? Like there was in the OG game. Uh, the OG game. Yeah, Resident Evil 2, of course. There was bullets behind there, I believe, in Resident Evil 2. But not here. Disappointment and sad. Now, this is randomized up here, if I remember correctly. Like, we can either get... Oh, oh, you know, the game gives you a lot of red herbs, doesn't it? Seriously, that's a lot of red herbs. That really is. Yeah, so the game... Yeah, we'll chuck the emblem key away. Can be random here. We're either going to get the magnum or we're going to get the... Uh, grenade launcher, I believe, here. One of the two. So, we'll take the lockpick, sure. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, I forgot about that. The lockpick in this game is actually a uh, item. It's not a special item. It just goes as Rebecca's. It goes straight into our inventory. Yeah, we need to go back to the item box again, don't we? Ugh. Now, let's just see. What, what did we get? We got the Magnum. Ah, uh, not... 100% sure if that was a great roll, to be honest. There isn't anything... Oh, actually, I don't know. No, we can use the magnet. Oh, there's hangar bullets there as well. There's a lot of hangar bullets there. Oh, what? oh, this is Barry's desk, I believe. Yeah. It's the desk of Barry, a Stars team member. A pair of replica guns are on the desk. Why does he have replica guns? Never really understood that. Um, right. Various trophies. Marksman contest winner, Chris Redfield. Ha! <laughs> ha! Not what I play with Chris Redfield. Facts from Kendo Gunshop. To the boys of stars. Oh, okay, I see. So, Jill's not involved in this fax? I... Oh, excuse me. I have some good news for you. 
from my brother Joe. He has finalized the new handgun for the for official use. It is the M92F Stars Special, but he calls it the Samurai Edge. It's the most balanced of the Kendo custom guns, Joe said. If you miss the target with this, you should carry a teething ring instead of a gun in your holster. <laughs> I like that. Uh, the goods will be delivered along with the proper documentation. I'm sure you'll be surprised when you see what kind of excellent parts are used for the M92F. I know that you'll want to thank the good people who developed it. Sincerely, Robert Kendo, Kendo Gun Shop. Now, if we actually look here, handgun. Yeah, it does actually, yeah, it is that gun. M92F Custom, a custom handgun made for stars, uses 9mm parabellum rounds. Why did he make a gun that uses 9mm? I mean, come on, Kendo, you could have at least chambered this in like 45 or 44 or something. Okay, right, there isn't really anything useful on this shelf. So this is Wesker's desk. I actually really like the stars office in the new Resident Evil. The remakes. I actually like this one as well. They're both really cool for different reasons. Um, okay. Now let's. Kind of need to go back, don't we? So maybe we're going to drop a Z or two on the way because we want the Magnum. Oh, hello. We really need that Magnum. I'm going to stick it up Nemesis' ass. That didn't sound good. Someone called Carlos asking for help. Now, Carlos is a pretty interesting character. Uh, I didn't really like his personality in the new game. He was kind of a dick. Like a proper... <sighs> a womanizer, I guess. He just had that kind of... Um, feeling to him, you know, I just, I didn't like his character at all. Right, let's give the shotgun some, oh god, that was bad, so you couldn't actually see what was going on. You know, I guess we could use some of these first aid sprays. Oh, Nemesis is back. Now, is he going to be downstairs? This is going to be interesting. There he is. Hey, big boy. Stars. We'll give you stars. We just need to go get ourselves a magnum. Uh, right, okay. Let's go jiggle our junk around. Yeah, let's start putting our herbage down here, I suppose. This is going to be really rough. We will... F ah, I know where we can fight him, actually. <sighs> yes. Yeah, I know where we'll fight him. We're gonna take him back through here. Um, now, is he gonna be in here? Notice he's cleared out all the zombies. I had a feeling. Hey, Nebby. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, go stick that rocket launcher up your fucking arsehole. Should have saved it there as well. This is potentially is gonna be really bad. Um. Now, the thing is, when he's got his rocket launcher, I know he acts kind of differently. Oh. He's not here. There he is. There he is. And he fires this three times, I think. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. He fires that three times. 
what we need to do I thought the zombies disappeared okay what we need to do is to clear that area out of zombies so we're gonna go sterilize that room because you could really easily bottleneck him in there if we go into Marvin's room he gets stuck on on a ledge and uh, yeah we're gonna maximize that right one second guys I will meet you back right okay so we're basically back to where we were uh, we've already had um, if I could go through the frickin oh hello there we go we've already had uh, let's fast forward this blah 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 yeah um, a meeting with the RNG gods uh, those red herbs that were just around the corner here are not here on this uh, version or this timeline should I say now that doesn't mean they're gone they are still in the game it just means that they are somewhere else uh, we still want the magnum though which I'm very happy about uh, did uh, dispense a couple of shotgun shells to get my way back through these zombies and I have cleared out the um, police officer I don't know what that is like the, the offices I guess I think there's just one zombie left in here now and he's not really gonna bother us famous last words I guess so let's go and drop mr. nemesis shall we you know seems like the right thing to do I guess but we're gonna charge oh god charge through here we're gonna go straight into the save room first of course so we're gonna jiggle our bits and pieces around jiggle our junk around and uh, think about what we're gonna go with I might I don't know I'm not uh, mm. oh hang on did I? Oh, I did go get those herbs, didn't I? Ye oh. Oh, no, we got the herbs, didn't we? And I, wait a minute, I'm confused. I'm confused. We already got, we must have already got the herbs. I was confused about that. I was like, oh, the herbs are gone. And like, no, you fool. They're not gone. You just haven't got them yet. Uh, or you've already got them, I should say. Oh, right. Okay, right. So let's hit up a save anyway, because... There we go. Uh, because we're about to go fight Nemesis, and we're in the save room. So there we go. I don't have any ill feelings about... Ooh, okay. Hey, big guy. I don't know why I didn't expect you to be there. I absolutely expected you to be there. Thumb seems to be healing as well, so I think it can uh, take a little bit of uh, abuse, shall we say. Not sure if we've got enough handgun bullets, which is another reason why I wanted to save it. I don't really want to have to use a shotgun if I don't have to, but, you know, it is what it is. We're going to go hide in this corner. Oh, if he goes to fire a rocket at us, we have to run into this corner. You have to be in this corner as well for this glitch to work. If you're, as far as I'm aware, if you're anywhere else in this room, it doesn't work, Chief. Oh, he's slipping. He's slipping. He's slipping. Come on, big guy. Now, you can actually do this pretty easily with the knife as well. Um, I never have. All right, he's down for the first time. I'm just going to keep shooting him just because why not? Dude. Seriously? Ah. Oh, he's free. He's free. And we don't have any health either, do we? We do not. Because I planned that well ahead, didn't I? Ooh. Run. Back. Oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, and that was bad. <laughs> Oh man, that was bad. Yeah, that was um, <clears throat> that was actually going really well until I fumbled and ran into the wrong. <sighs> God damn it, Titan, you fool! Actually, I don't even think we really need to have a cut there, do we? We 
We don't, because we can just load here. Okay, so let's try that again. We're gonna put that back. Uh, let's actually take some, let's make some handgun bullets, I guess. And like one health. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, I forgot. One health item here should be enough, really. Let's drop that back. Where's me... Reloading tool. Uh... Should have actually mixed those two together. That would have been a better idea. That was stupid. Mix them together, you get more bullets. Uh, let's put this back. Definitely not going to need the shotgun. We will take the reloading tool. We're going to take that. We don't need that. Uh, we need that and we need that. Okay. Alright, once more we're feeling, right? Combine. Combine. There we go, 35. We definitely now have enough bullets to drop him. And we've got the shotgun as well, just for good measure, but... Maybe we can use the shotgun to speed it up. Possibly. Might not be the worst idea in the world. Okay. Now, let's go. And then he's going to be right outside. Hopefully we can go wide of him again. And go right round him. Yep. Okay. That works. That has a pretty uh, reliable chance of success now what I did wrong here is when he fires his rocket launcher he seems to fire up to three rockets in succession now when you're in that little Marvin um, Brannon's office area all you've got to do is sidestep to the left but tank controls be damned tank controls really screwed me over uh, he's gonna fire his rockets run wait until you hear him run okay now, he is kind of edging his way quickly over towards us. Yeah, oh, you little bastard. Come on. Nope. Nope. Run. There we go. Yeah, we call that the old switcheroo. There we go. Oh, no. No, no, no. That was bad. That was bad. Come on, big boy. Yeah, man. There you go. Star. Uh, really, dude? Yeah. Okay. That'll work. That will work. This is always, you know... Uh, he's not He's not letting us have it easy, is he? Not like the first time we did this. And we pretty much skull-fucked him all the way, if memory serves. I actually can't remember how well we did against him last time, to be honest. But I'm pretty sure we had him over a barrel. You can try and attack me all you like, dude. That's fine. There we go. You'll be seeing stars by the time Jill's done with you. Don't you worry, big boy. You'll be seeing many stars. Run. Yeah, this is probably one of the easiest fights with him, to be honest, if you cheese him using this method. There we go. It's so reliable, this glitch. Uh, okay. Oh, yep, here goes his rocket. Gets his little red rocket out. Yes. Yes, yes. You're seeing stars now, me laddo. Okay, cool. And now we have... This little toy here. The STI Eagle. A custom-made gun uh, for competitions. It uses 9mm parabellum rounds. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. If we drop a save state here, actually. It's basically the same thing, but it fires so much faster, so much faster, and it has a, a high, and look at that reload, Jill's a 
boss with that reload. Um, yeah. Uh, it also has a high chance for crits, as far as I can understand. Now, um, we're on caution. I mean, I guess we could probably... <sighs> we could probably go and explore a little bit more. I suppose. We're going to keep the shotgun close. Now, I think the next time we down him, we get... Uh, if I remember correctly, I think it's F8 sprays or something. We can also get like a custom shotgun that we can start putting together, but that's not going to be for at least a few uh, a few areas. Um, another thing we can do, which is pretty cool, I will say. Do we want to put that back? I guess. We're probably not going to use the handgun again. Kind of isn't much point, if I'm being honest. I do like the way the um, we have this color-coded selector here for the item box. It's very nice. Uh, we'll keep the shotgun on us, sure. Oh, we're actually out of time. Oh. That uh, kind of snuck up on us, didn't it? Well, all right then, guys. I'm going to leave this video here. When we come back, we're going to continue exploring the mansion so till then guys the mansion what game am i playing here can you tell that i'm tired <laughs> don't have a lot of time to actually sit down and do anything these days um yeah we're gonna continue exploring a police station which we really don't have that much left to explore <laughs> so till then guys thanks for watching